Guys, they said there is serious political fight between the family of Oni of Ife and uh, Blue Blue and Ashley over an agreement that was reached by KBC and uh, Blue Blue's family uh, during the time that KBC was contesting for this kinship. You know that information have it that uh, by that 2020, uh, 2015 that KBC ascended the throne, it was a serious fight, you know. Uh, the, according to the history, for those of you who have not uh, or who do not know it very well, from the information we got that they said in the Leife Kingdom, some said it was four ruling houses, while others are saying it's five ruling houses. But there is this particular ruling house that has been taking care of this uh, uh, kingship for a very long time, which happens to be where they say Blue Blue came from. When it was uh, Kabiesis as Noni of Ife's uh, Dark Gisi family, when it was their time, long time ago, they, it was denied. They were denied that opportunity. Then, now again, it have rotated that it is now their turn again. This uh, family where Blue Blue came from, they wanted to take it up away from them again. But now they have more able-bodied men with cash you know that in nigeria if you have money if you have people who can stand by your side with money <laughs> you are going so right now uh they say kabiesi and her and his people they were prepared for this opportunity because the first time that he slipped their uh, their hand they were not happy about it so they came prepared this next one even though they said the family of Blue Blue, they fought, they fought to every length. But finally, KBSC was able to uh, ascend that throne. But before that, they said for the fight to stop, for the family of Blue Blue to stop fighting uh, the post, that KBSC will have to pick a maiden from their, from their family from their own ruling house, because she also came from a ruling house, just like a, uh, Ashley. So, then, information have it that before the ruling stuff, before the leadership, before the post that Igbi and, um, not Igbi, Blue Blue and uh, Oni have been good friends. If their if their friendship is intimate, intimacy, if there's any form of intimacy, I don't know. But they said they were friends. You know that friends from the same Ileife kingdom, you know. So KBSC agreed to pick a bride from them, from their family, just for the sake of peace. So uh -huh. maybe he just said, okay, let me just agree so that this thing will go on. I don't think there's any written agreement. I don't know. But they said he agreed to pick a, a bride from them. Then, KBSC did not marry from them. Because the first wife that he married after he was crowned the king, I don't think it's Uro Lao. There was, a, there was one woman, I saw the news sometime. The woman did not bear him any child. The marriage did not even last long. That one did not work. Then at some point, they said some elders, they came up to tell him that he needed a woman from the royal class. This is just a way of trying to push her, push him into going for, going to that blow blow family to go and pick a wife. Yet, he did not pick a wife there. He went to, uh, that was when he married Urola from Benin side, right? I think Urola is from Benin. Then, the marriage did not work. <laughs> Why? Could it be the family of Blue Blue that was uh, de uh, dealing with him until he got married from, uh, from them? I don't know. I'm just asking because anything is possible, you know? And when you are a, 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 a neighbor to people that like Juju and all of that, anything can happen. So that is not to say that they, they were the ones causing all of that for him or no. I did not say that. I just asked a question. So finally, there was a prophecy that he is going to get married to a, a, a young preacher who will bear him a son. And that preacher is his uh, partner 
in this throne that without the this this and that and that happens to be queen naomi he met with queen naomi the marriage lasted at least longer than the previous ones and as god may have it there was a son from that marriage they started working against it they did everything within their power and pushed queen naomi aside then they started brainwashing him manipulating him into marrying all of these women because in as much as in as much as Kabi is still love women just like every other man. And he's an African king. He thinks it's an opportunity for him. And they use what he loves to get him. That was how they were able to bring all of these women and finally push a maiden from that their family to him, for him to marry. Yes. Then, the problem here right now is that they are telling him that uh, on no account should he push blow blow out because information have it right now that kbs is saying that he is not even uh interested in marrying blow blow again blow blow and digby that he's not interested in marrying the two of them again because they have dealt with him the families are not talking about the part of them de dealing with him taking his protective charm doing all sort of things to him they are their major concern right now is that it there is an agreement so so the agreement is for their maiden to come into his life and mess him up hmm? is that the agreement but thank god information have it that no matter what they say they have been ganging up involving people both prominent people that will come and tell kbs no this is not how to do things agreement is agreement there was an agreement that you marry from their from their family and this and that you cannot just wake up one day and say no you don't want again because you want queen Naomi to return back to the palace and kbs is still standing his ground saying that he started it and he is ready to end it after all when you don't get what you want in a woman all you need to do is say, I know do again. Instead of the woman to buy you or you're buying the woman, it's better that she lives why she can. And for that reason, they said, uh, KBS is saying that it is Queen Naomi and Tadenikawo that will live with him in the palace. As for Blue Blue, that he is no longer interested in the marriage. She can return back to whoever that sent him, sent her into his life because it is obvious that her mission is not to come and marry KBS. She have ulterior motive, and KBC have found out because I'm sure there must be something that he found out about Blow Blow and Igbi that made him to say, No, I don't want it again. It might not even be about the Juju Juju thing, maybe there was something that we don't know. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I want to remind you that these are all alleged information, okay. I do not live in the palace. I am a just I'm just a blogger. When I get all of this information, I come and share it here with you and also remind you that they are all alleged information. Bye. Love you guys.